you're doing well. Hope your year has been absolutely amazing, but it is a real exciting day here today because it is new wedge day. I've been a Vokey fan for basically my entire life. I have my SM8s here that I've been gaming for the past year and a half. I got an old 48 degree wedge here. I got a 54 wedge. And I think this old 60 degree here is actually one that I've had even back into high school. I mean, look how rusty this guy is. About a year ago, I got fitted for my new putter and it was by a brand named Bentonardi. And by far, my Bentonardi Queen Bee number six is my favorite club in the bag. Around that time, I had saw that, hey, they actually offered some wedges too. And we've been kind of been making eyes at each other for the past year and a half. So we have the new Bentonardi HLX 5.0 wedges in the oil can finish to match my putter. Now, I have a 48, a 54 that's been bent down to a 53, and then a 58 degree wedge as well. They have the same honeycomb pattern up in the upper portion of the wedge. I'm sure Benton already gets tired of being compared to Vokey or Scotty Cameron all the time, but it's just kind of the nature of the beast. But these have to be absolutely the Scotty Cameron of wedges. I mean, these things are absolutely gorgeous. Now I looked into it and there are not a lot of reviews of these wedges out there on YouTube, but I'm gonna give you my take on these the, the best that I can, hit some pitches and hit some chip shops around the green here. And then we're actually, we're gonna be taking these guys into the bunker as well and see how this uh, nice oil can finish holds up. So let's hit some shots. Now the Bentonardi HLX 5.0s are actually a forged wedge and a lot of people might be surprised to find out that Vokey wedges are actually cast. I've done a little bit of research on it and they are cast out of a very soft steel, carbon steel. And just like these are forged out of a soft carbon steel as well. And Bob Vokey himself says that there's a lot of misconceptions in terms of the way things are cast and then in between forged. But, you know, generally people think that things that are forged feel softer um, as compared to cast, usually feel a little bit more firm, a little bit more clicky. Get this grip, I <laughs> need grip off here. Vokey himself re say that the reason they cast a lot of their clubs is because uh, they offer a lot of different grinds, a lot of different, you know, customization options on their wedges and casting allows them to do that to whereas Benton Arty clubs, they only offer really two grinds. They offer the C grind and the RJ grind. So we're gonna go to this pin over here, see how the 54 does on chipping here for some shots. Let's do it. Going a little bit into the grain right here. Oh, go in. Oh, now it feels great off the face. Again, I don't think you're really gonna feel a lot of that, the softness that you're supposed to feel from a forge club, just on your general kind of chip and pitch shots around the green. Probably that comes more into like your full swings to where you can you maybe feel a little bit of the difference. I don't know if, I, if I'm if i gonna be able to discern that or not. We'll do some full swings as well, kind of see how that, that goes. Uh, maybe try to get you some spin numbers. I don't know, or tell me. Uh, if you guys want to see a full kind of full swing comparison uh, with the Mevo Plus and some and some numbers, uh, let me know. Comment below. Oh, that's buttery. Oop. <laughs> All right, so we got the 58 wedge now. We're going to put ourselves in kind of this rough lie over here. Uh, just trying to again see how the wedge reacts. Let's see how we do. Oh, pretty good spin on that one. Let's kind of get it in a little big fluff right here. Really just kind of down in that, just get through that. I mean, that's pretty good. I'd be super stoked with that out on the course. Getting some pretty good spin out of these, even out of the rough. Kind of a fluffy lie right here. Should jump out to the left on me too. Oh, go in. Oh, uh, pretty good start there for the uh, the 58 there. 
All right, it's time. Um, I have to admit, I'm a bit nervous about this. Just wrap her straight off the new wedges and going in the bunker. But I don't want the first time me going in a bunker on course and using my new wedges. We got to do it. We got it. Three shots here. Let's see how it does out of the bunker. We're going to this close pin right here. Didn't really swing at that one too hard. It's a little embarrassing, but we've we've ripped the band-aid off. All right, let's see if we do better now. Let's finish this last one off. Well, we definitely need some more work in the bunkers, but uh, we're not gonna be doing that today. So just after six bunker shots, we're already seeing some pretty significant wear on our 58 degree wedge. And it's kind of to be expected in some regard, but I didn't think just after six shots, we'd already start seeing this amount of scuff marks and stuff on the wedge. So I'm probably gonna send Vitinardi an email about that. Let's go jump on the range. Let's hit some full shots with these guys and see what kind of feel we get out of them compared to the Vokies. All right, so let's start with a few shots with the 54 SM8. Get a feel for that and see if we see a big difference in between the cast club and the forged Vitinardi club. I mean, yeah, feels like I've known it to feel for the past decade. It's a Vokey. Yeah, it's a Vokey. You know what it feels like, feels good. Let's jump into the HLX 5.0 Forged. Now granted, these are range balls, so they're not gonna feel the best off the face as you would, you know, be playing at a Z-Star or Pro V1, but you still get a little bit of it. First shot with the 54. I mean, good ball. Got it like a little on the toe side there. Didn't even flush it. A little bit more grooved on that one. I don't know if it's the shafts. I, I have the S400 shafts on these, but these are definitely flighting a lot higher than the Vokey wedge that I have, at least the first two shots. Oh. That was absolute butter. A little bit on the heel side, but on that shot right there, I definitely felt a difference in terms of the, the softness. All right, let's hit some with the 48 degree wedge. All right, let's hit a few with the Vokey 48 now, see if we feel a big difference. The Vokey does feel a little bit, a little bit harder, a little bit firmer. Let's hit one right off back to back with the 48. Same type of range ball. Yeah, it's softer. It's definitely softer. Now it's centered, center face right there, looking good. Overall thoughts, hey, they're gorgeous. I love them. When they're in the hands, I feel really confident with these. A little disappointed with some of the kind of the finishing of them, especially since I paid extra to have the oil can finish on them. But they're absolutely beautiful. The milling, everything looks great. Uh, seeing some good performance out of them. And we got a bucket of balls left here. So we're gonna spend the rest of the afternoon just grinding here in the range and trying to dial these guys in. Hope you guys have a great rest of the year. Cheers, everyone. Peace.